the je advanced results have come yesterday and uh, an analysis of marks versus ranks throws up some very very interesting results this year people have been complaining students specifically that this year's test was a little tough a little different lengthy maths was lengthy etc etc but the full impact of those observations was not known till the marks got revealed yesterday we all know that je advanced is a low scoring test and this is something which students who are seriously preparing for je advanced already know there are several 11th class students who have just entered the system who may not who may not know this also several parents of 11th class student people who have just got into the system right now are not aware of are ignorant of this and uh, they feel that they should be getting some 90% plus to get into je advanced we will see in today's analysis how low scoring the test was this year as it is every year it is a low scoring test but this year people say that this was one of the toughest test after 2016 perhaps uh, 2022 also has similar kind of low scores for ranks now let's look at this okay we all know that this year um something like this rank 1 was at 87% we all know that rank 10 is at 79% that means for these 10 ranks the distribution in terms of percentage points was around 8% 8 points okay 87 to 79 rank 100 is at 66% that is a drop of uh, around 13% 13 percentage points 500 is at 54% at 54% you can still be in the top 500 and expect to get computer science in the top 5 iits i am talking about open category this is open category so 54% open category you can still get computer science in the top iits and look at the drop in percentage points here it is about uh, um 12% okay so from 100 to 500 the drop was around 12% now the fun begins um here from 500 to 1000 48% just 6 percentage point drop and you are dropping by 500 ranks 500 ranks 6 percentage points here it was 12 percentage points 400 rank drop here 500 rank drop in just around 6 so as you go down the marks there is a closer bunching they are far more dispersed here closer bunching as you go down okay now 48% that means you don't even have to score 50% at 48% you are still uh, getting computer science in the top 8 iits okay so 1000 1000 rank corresponds to 48% then 5000 rank 5000 rank is at 32% and parents need to realize this in a lot of conventional exams 35% is your pass, pass percentage but here at 32% not only are you qualifying you are also getting a decent rank 5000 will get you a decent branch in any of the top iits 5000 okay i am talking about male open category in the case of ews in the case of obc in the case of sc st it will be far easier than this so at 32% you are getting 5000 and uh, how much is the drop here just around okay uh, 16% so 16 percentage points drop we are seeing 4000 ranks difference now look at 10000 10000 rank is at 25% at 10000 rank you can still get a decent branch may not be in the top iits but definitely in the second generation and third generation iits 25% 
at 25%, you are getting 10,000 rank. And just see the difference here. 7 percentage point drop and 5,000 ranks difference. So, 5,000 at this, at the, in this mark range, lot of students are actually together. So, there is a lot of clustering here in, in this mark range. So, 7 percent, 5,000 ranks. Okay. And then what? We have um, qualifying, qualifying mark this year. That means to get a rank um, this year in JE Advanced, you just had to score 15 percent. Just 15 percent, you are getting a rank. You are getting qualified in JE Advanced. And 15 percent is just 55 marks. 55 marks out of 360. 55 marks out of 360, you are getting qualified in JE advanced that is in the case of open category in the case of ews and obc it is 50 and in the case of st sc st it is just 28 so for 28 marks you get a rank if you are in the sc st category now just to give you some interesting piece of information what is the branch what is the highest rank for which um, Okay, not highest, the lowest rank for which you will get a seat at any of the IITs. Uh, to my mind, I think that is IIT Jammu Material Science. So, last year, IIT Jammu Material Science in gender neutral category, open category, gender neutral, the rank, the closing rank was 14,983, almost 50, 15,000. So, 14,983 this year corresponds to something like around 22 percent marks, a 22 percent marks which is around 79 marks. So, you get 79 this year, you will be an IITN in open category. Let me tell you, this is open category. It will be far easier in the case of other categories. So, gender neutral 79. In the case of female only, you know, Females have a separate category by inclusion of supernumerary seats. In the case of female category, same IIT Jammu, Metal Science, the closing rank last year, 2021, was 26,294. So, 26,294 to get that rank this year, you just had to score something like around 56. That's around 12%. Just around, just that's, that's around 15 percent, sorry, 15 percent. So, 56 marks if you get this year, 56 marks out of 360 in the female category open, you would still get a seat at one of the IITs. So, this is something that you have to keep in mind while you are looking at your JE advanced pattern test scores in your respective institutions. However, this, uh, these marks versus rank may not get replicated next year because as you all know, JE Advance throws up surprises every year. So, we can't talk about uh, a general trend, but definitely even in other years, it was a, it used to be a low scoring test, not as bad as this, but definitely a low scoring test. Do not expect the same thing to happen next year, but somewhere around there, that is where you will get your marks versus ranks. So, this should give you a clear idea that while you are preparing for JE advanced, uh, even with a little bit of effort and proper planning, um, if you prepare well, you can get a decent rank. So, that is something that you have to keep in mind as far as JE advanced is concerned. All the best.